Hello, my name is Elvis from Eden Online team. In this video, I want to show you how to use our escrow to make payment and receive payment. So to start, you can open the escrow from our website or from our app, but in this video, I will show you how to open it direct without going to the website or the app. So from your browser, you type escrow.eronline.com. Then the website will open. So this is the website. I'm showing you the website and I'm scrolling down. Now, what you need to do is, first of all, read our terms and conditions. So this is the terms and conditions. It's very, very important before you start to work on this website. So you click on terms and conditions. Let me click on terms and conditions to show you how it is. So this is our terms and condition. You click here for the terms and condition to open in PDF. So read it carefully before you continue. Then to continue, you click on this account. If you have not signed up before, you click on sign up. So let's start with sign up. I click on sign up. So the sign up comes up like this. On this field, you put your name and your surname. Here you put your username, then your email address, your phone number, or contact number that we use in contacting in case they have said anything. Then here you put your password, then repeat your password here and click on sign in. So this is how you sign up. Then the system will send you an email. Go and confirm your email because most of the thing will be sending to you will be through email. Then when you have signed up and check your email and confirm, you come back to the website. Here you click on this account, then click on sign in. The way I click on sign in now, Click on sign in, sign in will open. Now the sign in has opened. I put my username. Remember my the username you use in registering. You type it in. I'm typing in my username now. Then I click on sign in to sign up. Then when you sign in, it will take you to the dashboard. See, dashboard is very simple. Yeah. So on the dashboard, I've I've seen the balance. The balance I have on my escrow, I have 69.7 naira. Then I see my escrow list, those that are going to send money, so you can create as many escrow. I will show you all this. Then here you see your earning, uh, your earning list, people, the people that have sent money to you. You see them here. So let's start with um, the first menu here, create an escrow. So you, have, you can create an escrow, means those that you want to send money to. First, I click on create an escrow. Then to create an escrow, the person you will send money to must be registered on the website. So if you want to send money to somebody, ask the person to register on the website and send you his or her user name. It's very important. Because that, that's the only way you can identify to send money to that person. So for me to create an escrow now, I have to look for the username. I'm sending money to this username, Elvis. Let's use this username. Then I click on next. Now, the system told me that this, the, this username already exists on my escrow. So I have, that means I've already created this username as an escrow before. So if that, that person already exists on your escrow, you don't need to create the username again. You cannot send money to the person direct. That means you have been doing business with that person. But if it's a, if it's a new person, you can easily type and then click next. So let me go to my escrow list. I go to my escrow list here. Now, on my escrow, you see I have a this one one already on my escrow list. Here, I click on view transactions. I can see the transaction I have with Elvis. See, this is the transaction here. Then there's no transaction. I have not sent any money to Elvis. So what I need to do now, I click on this create milestone. Now, what does this create milestone mean? It means how much out of the money you have, how much do you want to send to this person? Are you with me, right? Because any money you put here, that the money you want to send, the person will receive it. When the person finish your work, he will say has finished. Now you can now authorize um, Aaron online to pay this person. So what I do, let's say I want to send this person, let's say just twenty naira, for example. Here I I do the title. Why am I sending this money? I say for the purchase of a car. 
then I can write description here. Tell us about your car if you want to. Or I just make it very simple. I just copy and paste the title. Then I click on yes. So if you click on no, that you see the escrow amount created successfully. So it has created an escrow amount means I'm sending Elvis twenty thousand. This is the reason I'm sending the money. This is the detail of this transaction. Now, under statement, it said pending. Now, under action, there is a, a button say release. So, when you are satisfied with Elvis, you can just click this release to notify um, everyone online to release this money to Elvis. So, everything is in your hand. You pay in this money, it's in the escrow. You, t you can for example, I say 20,000, maybe what you agree with the person may be 40, but you decide to pay the person 20, you create a milestone of 20. So when you are satisfied, you click on If you don't click release, everyone online will not release this money to the person. So it's everything is in your hand. You create, you release. So if I want to release, I create release. So I don't want to release this money yet until we hear from Elvis. Now, this is about creating a milestone creating, you know, sending money to somebody and the money is still pending. So you have not released this money. Now, let me, let's go to your earning. Let's say somebody is sending money to you. How do you know? I come here, I click on my earning. Now, under my earning, I have two people that are supposed to have sent me money. I have uh, Elvis11, one one. I have Stacia. So here I click on view transaction. So you see, that means this statement is completed. It means the person have already paid me money. I've received the money. So let's get here action too. So this one also has completed. So we we'll also look at how to receive money from person. Now, the next thing we are going to look at this video is deposit. How do you deposit money to your escrow? It's very important if you don't deposit money to your wallet you will not be able to send money to somebody so practically the first thing you do is for you to deposit money if you are sending let's say one thousand naira to somebody you have to have that one thousand naira in your escrow for you to be able to pay so let how do we deposit money to our escrow here you click on deposit here you click on deposit money Okay, it brought here. Now here I click on select. This is our payment gateway. Here I put how much I want to deposit. So you cannot deposit less than 500 naira. So if you want to deposit less than 500 naira, it will not go. So it must be 500 naira to 100,000. That's the amount you can deposit. So here, let's say I want to deposit 1,000. I just hit my 1,000 here. I click on preview. So the system loads. Now it preview the money for me. This amount I want to deposit. This is the charges for error online. This is how much I supposed to pay. So here it give you the total in naira. Now here I click on pay now. So it's very easy. I put my card number, uh, expiring date. I can pay through the bank if I want to use the bank. I choose the bank. I use my card so when i finish filling all this information i'm sure most of us know how to pay something with card then i click on pay then it automatically deposit money to your escrow so that's practically how to deposit money to your escrow here you can look at history of how you have deposited money to the escrow now there's another thing here that we have to look at how do you withdraw the money somebody sent to you or the money you deposit the money you have on your escrow how do you withdraw it you may decide to withdraw your money and you don't want to send to the person again so how do you withdraw this money let's come here then i click on withdraw money so it's still your money it doesn't belong to um Aaron online it's your money so you may decide to withdraw it so here i click on select we, on we only pay through bank transfer 
So how much do I want to withdraw? Let's say I want to withdraw 20,000. Then I click on preview. You cannot withdraw more than the money you have. So he said, I cannot withdraw more than 20,000. It's a pity. That means the money you can withdraw must be more than 20,000. At least at the minimum you can withdraw is 1,000. So you must have at least 1,000 for you to withdraw. So at least that, is, that makes it comfortable for us. So let's say I put 1,000. Then I click here. Now, the system said the money I'm trying to withdraw is more than my balance. I don't have 1,000 that I would able to withdraw. But that's just practically how to withdraw money. Then you click next, next. You tell us how to pay you the account number and how to pay you. You submit. Then in the next one day, you receive money in your account. So that's how the escrow work. And that's how you withdraw money. Now, let's look at that, that escrow, that um, milestone you created for Elvis. How will Elvis see see it and how will he withdraw it so let's log in as elvis and see i come here i log out as danny one one now here i click i log in as elvis okay so elvis is already having 50 naira in his balance his escrow, he has only one person in his escrow list. Now he has one member that have sent him money. So let's look at it. Yeah, Danny one one sent him money. He have seen it, but he cannot withdraw it. We have not completed that, uh, but then now have not given us order to release money to him. So let's look, let's see, you can look at the transaction, how much that was sent to him. So you see, on October 2nd, 20 Naira was sent to him for the purchase of car or so so so. Stay two is pending. He can reject the amount. You can say that the amount is not what you agree with him. You can reject this amount. Are you with me? See, you can just click reject amount. It will reject the amount for you. Yes. But if you, if you feel the amount is okay, what you agreed on, you leave it. When you have delivered the goods and um, Now we decide to release the money to you, the statue will change. You will receive your money. Now have the balance. Your balance here will change, including the money that Danny sent to you. So you cannot withdraw this money. You can only reject the money that you don't want this transaction again, or the money is too small for what you agree with him. So everything is between you and the person sending you money. Thank you very much. This is how the escrow works. It's very simple. I hope you will continue to use it. Thanks.